made the vote? Because I think it's a brilliant idea and it'll be very interesting to see what everybody thinks and because I think we should have a United Ireland. That's my reason for voting today. Oh, actually, I came out to vote today. I thought it was an excellent opportunity um, just to show my personal feelings how I would like to see a united Ireland and this gives uh, an overall view of what the feeling is in this particular area. Very good idea. We should have united Ireland and that we shouldn't be lo no longer part of the UK. No, we're not. This is it. As I was always told, this is Ireland, not England, so um, it should be one country. So you think the vote down in the referendum would be worthwhile in that? Oh yeah, definitely, yeah. yeah. It says they're one economy, um, one currency, you know, um, one health service and all. It's very, very important. Well, yes, uh, this is... Uh this is like flexing your muscles in democracy. It's very important. It's uh, participation. It's uh, a popular, a popular uh, kind of democracy. It makes people be aware that the future of their country is in their hands. And they can organize themselves, they can vote, and they can make something which seemed remote, maybe impossible, even they can make it possible. Right? So actually, uh, these popular referenda are very important. They were very important in Catalonia because something which seemed unbelievable, with which everybody thought would never happen, suddenly happened. And it happened thanks to determination and to the people themselves who organized in grassroots movements. So uh, I think this is, sometimes comes to be even more important, more historical than official elections themselves because this uh, gets something moving and it gets something moving thanks to the push of the people. Uh, it's not like uh, the, the regular elections where there's some politicians out there somewhere in Dublin or Belfast or London uh, preparing their own elections to get uh, going into Parliament. This is actually a, a nation in the move from the grassroots, the people. Are, are, are the main characters here and they're the actors and they're the pushers. So that makes it even more valuable than regular elections in my point of view. Today is the last day of an almost four week campaign. Uh, it's Poland Day, it's been a long day, we've been up early this morning, um, but we're happy with the way Poland is going, both here in Cross Maglen and also in our Poland station in Sheila. Um, people are coming in steady stream, it's a lovely day, it's the first nice day nearly we've had in the whole campaign, so uh, we just hope now that uh, people continue to come out in, in large numbers and later on we'll have the results and that'll tell the tale. The poll today has been run very professionally. We have a returning officer who is Michael Halpenny. He's a um, former legal uh, legal rights advisor with SIP2 um, and he's used to been running ballots and things like that for SIP2 so he's running everything very professionally. Um, we have polling agents, independent polling agents and we also have an independent observer, Alfred Bosch from Catalonia. Um, so they are happy with the way things are going and um, there have been no incidents or anything like that. Everything is uh, is going as a normal election would, would run. Um, so we're happy with that. Well, I think it's important for a United Act to have a United Ireland. It would leave a lot of things less complicated. And, and the referendum's a worthwhile project, then? I think so, yes. Come out to vote because it's great to get a chance to come out and vote and uh, show that we want, want a United Ireland and it's, it's good to get that chance and get that privilege. Uh, the benefits of be would be uh, more equal, op op equal opportunities for everybody and uh, a better system and uh, really to direct their own country rather than being directed from Britain. Well, the polls have now closed in Craig and Upper and Cross Midland in the first of the United Ireland You Decide polls um, on the reunification and then the question of reunification. Um, 
So we're here in the count centre in Crossmead Lane and, and the count team is working away, um, counting the, the votes that have been cast. Um, the electorate in, in Craig and Upper and Crossmead Lane have had the opportunity to cast their votes and hopefully we'll have a, an indication in the next short while of how the vote has gone. But it seems to be, based on the, the initial tallies, a, a, a very strong yes vote in support of Irish reunification. And this whole process has been very much about um, initiating that conversation on the question of, of reunification um, and, and, and hopefully it's, it, it's the start of that process. Um, the, the process here uh, in terms of the Count Centre has been um, run by, by independent observers from trade union and legal backgrounds. Um, so it's, it's uh, been completely verified and authorised and in the next short while we'll have a, a clear indication uh, of the result of, uh, and the views of the people in, in Craig and Upper and, and Cross Midland. And as I said, it's very much about where we go from here and about continuing that conversation and, and pushing towards um, the, 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 the border pole for, the, for all the people of Ireland. The uh, results uh, of the uh, United Ireland, uh, you decide a people's referendum on the question, uh, should Ireland be reunited? And this in the constituency or the electoral area of Cross McGlen and Craig and Upper on today, Saturday the 25th of May 2013. The results of poll is as follows. The electorate, 2,500. The total number of ballots issued, 1,050. That's 1,050. Spoiled votes, zero. Voting milter, no. Rejected votes, three. Voting jule, three. Total valid poll. And vote oil, a valley umlan. 1047, that's 1047. Ian Vila is a shot. Total yes votes 966. Ta Total no votes 81. Neil Octohirn. And the result is that the question uh, should Ireland be reunited has been carried. And that is the <laughs> Aparta. Ladies and gentlemen, the people of Cross McGlen and Craig and Upper has made history tonight. Over 1,000 voters participated in our people's referendum with 93% yes vote and 7% no vote. We have sent a clear message to the world that this area demands Irish unity. <laughs> Folks, we've had a fantastic three week campaign. We ran, we debated, we released balloons, and we voted. And I'd like to thank everyone who attended all of our events, our organizing committee, most of them are here with me, some of them can't be with us, and most importantly, the people of Cross McGlen and Craig and Upper for making this an absolutely historic vote and for sending a message to the world about what this community wants. We have started a local and a national debate on the topic of Irish unity. Our voice has been heard and we hope that other areas will emulate what we have done. We hope that this area provides inspiration, as it has done in the past, to other areas to take up the call for Irish unity. Um, I see our MP for the area, Conor Murphy, has joined us here tonight and I'd like him now to say a few words as well. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, there's a lot of very tired people here, not least the uh, election staff uh, and people who have been working on this campaign for the last number of weeks. So I, not this isn't a night for long speeches. I just want to echo what Emma has said uh, and thank very much the people who stand behind me and the others who are on the committee who aren't here tonight. This was really, when it was first mooted, uh, very much a shot in the dark. Uh, such a campaign had never been run and has never been run in Ireland since partition. Uh, that people actually set up their own campaign to have a vote in their own area on the decision on the question of Irish unity. So to, to begin that off, uh, to get round the doors, to talk to people, to tell them what it was about and to draw such a significant number of people to come out and those who come out to voice opposition to reunification, which they're very much entitled to do, uh, was I think a huge undertaking. 
Uh, and I think the campaign that has been laid off in Cross McLean and Craig and Upper will now have a baseline, if you like, for other areas along the border to say, this is what this campaign about, this is what happened in Cross McLean and in Craig and Upper, this is what was put to the people, and this is what the outcome of that was. So it's a huge, huge achievement. Uh, it's a historic achievement, and I think as time goes on, and when we do gain freedom and reunification in this country, we will look back on this campaign, I think this is a significant moment in starting a movement which is a people's movement, a grassroots movement, which is about bringing about political change in our country and sending a very clear message to people who are trying to frustrate a debate around reunification or to deny that such a, a, a desire exists in the hearts of Irish people. Uh, it sends a very, very clear message to them that the people of Ireland's hearts are beating very, very strongly still for freedom and independence and self-determination in our own country. And that's what this campaign was about, and I think it has been a stunning success, and it's down to people like Emma and the rest of the committee here, and all the good people of Cross McLean and Sheila and Craig and Upper who came out today to vote, to demonstrate, even though there was no actual outcome to this, but to demonstrate that if the question were to be asked, that they want to see political change in this country. And that's what this has been about. This campaign drew its inspiration from a grassroots campaign which began in Catalonia, where people again denied the opportunity at a national level in Catalonia to have a decision on the independence of that state, decided at a grassroots level that they were going to go and ask the people what they thought. And we're very pleased tonight that we have a representative of Catalonia, Alfred Bosch, and I'd like to invite him now to say a few words to the assembled people of Cross McLean and Craig and Albert. Albert. Uh, thank you very much. Now, are you aware of what you've been doing? Are you aware of what you have achieved today? You, people of Cross McLean and outlying areas, you've been the first in history to vote for the reunification of Ireland. My congratulations, my deepest congratulations to all of you. This is, this is history in the making. Now, almost exactly two years ago, in my own country, we closed the last uh, voting station in Barcelona. People who voted also for the first time for the independence of Catalonia. We started in a very small village, similar to this. Uh, it was hard. It took a full two years to reach about 540 municipalities across the country. But we did it, and it gathered momentum, and it grew. And at the end, it became the, the most important single action of popular democracy which we have experienced in our country for the last century. It's been huge. And right now, the government is going for the real one, for the big one, for the official referendum on the independence of Catalonia. And who made that? Who achieved that? The people. So don't let anybody tell you that this is not important. Don't let anybody tell you that this is a mock election. There's no mockery. Don't tolerate any mockery about this. This is even more important than a regular election because it's you, the people, who are leading the way and who are saying, look, we're going to push those politicians wherever they are in Dublin or Belfast or London or wherever, we're going to push them all to get this thing done because we are democratic. And I would like to congratulate that 93% of you people who voted yes for the reunification of Ireland, but particularly, I would also like to congratulate that 7% who voted no, real Democrats who want to take part in decisions which affect everybody across the country. My congratulations. Thank you, folks. I love you. I learned a, a great lesson today. Thank you very much. absolutely delighted with a 93% vote in favour of Irish unity. Um, when we started the campaign three weeks ago, we didn't know where it was going to go. We just knew there was a question that needed to be asked. Uh, on behalf of the committee, I'd like to thank everyone for coming uh, today to poll in Cross and Glen and in Nave Malachy and Sheila. Um, we've had over a thousand people participating in our people's referendum and we think that says an awful lot about, uh, about this area. It shows a clear demand for 
Irish unity and it sends a clear message around the world about what we want in this area and what the people think. The people have spoken, we said at the outset that we wanted this to be about the people having their say. When the border was um, was designed in, in Whitehall, the people here had no say, it was imposed on us and we just had to live with the consequences. So it's time to redress that and we think tonight is a, is a first step in, in that direction. We think that today's vote has sent a clear message around the world about what this community wants and about the desire for Irish unity. And we think that the wheels should now be set in motion for an actual border poll to be held in this country. So we would call on the government in Dublin and the government in London to start the ball rolling in that way and uh, if we can inspire other communities to follow what we have done today that's welcome, we'll give them all the help and support we want. So finally just to thank everyone for a fantastic campaign, it's been great and um, we're delighted with our result tonight, we're delighted, we think we've done good work and uh, we're very very happy, thanks.